you are set for a powerful encounter that will change your life forever, as you are about to listen to this powerful sermon by Apostle Joshua Selman. A shift is about to take place in your life that will lead to a supernatural transformation. Dreams and visions. Write it down, please. Your dreams and visions are the first channels that show whether or not you have received the gift of sight. When God gives a man the seeing eye, it tells immediately in your dreams and visions. Joel chapter 2 and verse 28. Joel 2 28. And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. He says, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Help me read the rest. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. When a man does not have the seeing eye, you will never be able to have the platform of dreams and visions to be used by God to reveal the blueprint of your destiny for you. I hope you know that the capacity to dream dreams and to see visions is a gift from God to help direct the course of people's lives. In Job chapter 33, 14 and 15, write it please. Job 33, 14 and 15, watch this. It says, for God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet a man perceives it not 15 in a dream in a vision of the night when deep sleep falleth upon men in the slumberings upon the bed you know what you were saying that every time you go to bed while your body is sleeping the spirit of god is coming with messages that connect to your destiny connects to the next level of your life in that realm of the spirit called the realm of dreams and visions satan is also interested in that realm because he can manipulate the things you see and hear you will wake up with messages that you think are from God and obey them sincerely unto your destruction hallelujah there are people today who were misdirected because of the dreams they had misdirected because of the visions they had and have sincerely remained loyal to those dreams and visions to their partition if dreams and visions were not powerful Satan would not be interested in your sleep that when men go to bed, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of transactions happen in the spirit. Dreams and visions. Is God helping someone? Genesis chapter 41. Give us verse 25 and then verse 28. The story of, jo of Joseph. And Joseph said unto Pharaoh, the dream that Pharaoh the dream of Pharaoh is one. Watch this. God had showed Pharaoh through that dream what he is about to do. God has shown him what? What he is about to do. Go to verse 28. He repeats it again. This is the thing which I have spoken unto Pharaoh. What God is about to do, he showeth unto Pharaoh. Has God shown you what he is about to do in your life? Has God shown you what he's about to do in your family? Has God shown you what he wants to do with your destiny? Has God shown you what he wants to do with your ministry? Have you been wasting the six or eight hours that when your body lies down, the spirit of grace comes wanting to show you the steps you must take? Men have woken up out of dreams and visions into enviable destinies. An example of such a man was Solomon. Solomon went to bed, ladies and gentlemen, and by the advantage of dreams and visions, God came to him and a destiny-altering transaction happened. Solomon, what should I give you whilst you are asleep? Do you know that the revelation about the captivity of the nation of Israel alongside their exodus came to Abraham when he fell asleep? It was in a dream and in a vision God came to him that a time will come a people will be... Ladies and gentlemen, hear me. If you miss the opportunity of dreams and visions being used as a prophetic tool, you will miss out a lot in destiny. I remember in 2013, God had already helped us and we're doing well in ministry. Hallelujah. 
we had just started koinonia now and i remember i was feeling a stirring in my heart should we move to abuja and then a prophetic encounter i think it was a dream or so i saw a plane lift from zaria on its way coming to abuja before it will land it crashed and immediately i knew and it was written here and i there immediately i knew that this thing was not of god i think someone else had the same experience and sent me a text to say listen this is what i saw i knew by the advantage of dreams that even though it was in my prophetic blueprint it was not yet the timing you can see what is right and not know the timing you will still fail as if you are in error pay attention to what you are learning tonight because for somebody god is reigniting the gift of dreams purifying your dreams again there are many people hear me there are many people who danger had been averted in their lives because of the power of dreams the power of visions hallelujah praise the name of the lord there are many people today with all due respect to them who should not have died if they knew how to buy into God's voice using the medium of dreams and visions for others they saw but they could not understand what was being said hmm. dreams visions have you ever wondered why people go to bed and as soon as they lay their head a miracle happens is that not what happened to Jacob in chapter 28 of Genesis the Bible says he went to um, now laws and lay down there to sleep the bible says when the man went to bed oh suddenly he had a dream and he saw a ladder that connected the earth to the heavens and god speaking there i can tell you ladies and gentlemen many of the questions you have been asking god lord what is the next phase of my life should i stay in abuja should i go to america if you understand and receive this gift of the seen eye you will marvel and wonder that you will go to bed and one night sleep will download the destiny the next 10 years of your life you will stand up and be writing like someone is dictating and you will take steps that lead you triumphantly it's an advantage that the saints have dreams and visions and satan wants to abort and sabotage your destiny he tries to stop you from seeing because satan is a master at creating blindness are we together he does not just blind your mind he blinds your eyes he blinds your understanding two things when satan wants to destroy the life of dreams and visions he will manipulate it so that you keep taking wrong steps in honor of what you are seeing and you keep failing then a time will come in disappointment you will no longer trust what you see are we together I saw this I took a step later I found out it was not God I saw this I took a step later I found out it was not God it will plant fear in you so that the next thing you see you say no my hand is not there again I will not make this mistake and in it you will lose precious opportunities do you know that the rescue of Jesus as a baby came by revelation to Joseph through a dream? If dreams were not powerful and were not God ordained, God would not use it. And the best channel to communicate the rescue of the Savior who could die was a dream. Hallelujah. When believers go to sleep, I hope you know, sit down please. The first thing Satan manipulated in the life of Adam and Eve, Eve particularly, was their eyes. The dynamics of the fall of man started with his speaking, his manipulation, but it went to their eyes. The Bible says when the woman saw, what she heard was there but until it affected what she saw it had no power over her regardless what the serpent was saying she still had her stamina and her nakedness was not there regardless the information but the moment it translated to an alteration of her vision when she saw she acted upon what she saw and fell hallelujah in fact it was it was Paul, I believe, who was speaking, 
he said I fear lest Satan beguile you with the same subtlety that he used for Eve in the garden do you know how he made them fall he manipulated the power of their sight he casted an image upon them and they responded to that image to their detriment question do you know what happened to the four lepers and the people who ran away and brought blessings to Samaria it was first a manipulation of what they heard but it was beyond what they heard I believe with all my my heart that their eyes had a role to play what you hear may not be enough to you can't just be running because you had sounds there has to be something your eyes see to convince you because you can doubt what you hear but you cannot doubt what you see there are times that when you place a call you are hearing someone's voice but either because there is a network problem or perhaps the person has some cold he's not able to speak clearly and sometimes you seeing eye there are people who left where their helpers were and traveled to where their enemies were not knowing literally took their hands to their enemies because they lacked the seeing eye ladies and gentlemen your confidence in life is highly predicated on your ability to see the prophet in spite of the threat of the armies he stood still in confidence because his servant was blind and God said I know the problem of this man and inspired the prophet to open his eyes and he saw that they that were with them were by far greater than they that were against them ladies and gentlemen when you have the seen eye as a man of God you can look at five members and see nations the seen eye the seen eye right from the days of nothing by the grace of God and the days of no influence no voice no whatever by the privilege of the seen eye our confidence was still high knowing that God does not lie can I tell you when God shows you the future you will stand confident you would dance in the midst of nothing like a madman because you are seeing what others are not seeing you will get up from a dream you will get up from a vision and tap your loved ones and say hallelujah deliverance has come for this family they will say we don't understand what you are saying they will say I have I've seen it hallelujah when there was a storm the apostle got up and said you know what have no fear the angel of the Lord has appeared to me and he showed me that there shall be no loss and the Bible says upon that confidence they saw through the storm until they arrived at an island called Melita the storms in your life today are overwhelming you and telling on your integrity as far as your love for God is concerned because you have no eyes to see beyond the now if you have the eyes to see beyond the now you will sit in even in the midst of nothing and sing praises and give thanks because you have seen beyond the now please sit down dreams and visions when it's time to pray we are going to ask the Lord purify my dreams purify my vision and for some of you I don't know what happened to your Christian life that your visions are not clear again or you do not even see there are some of you you were so graced and gifted by God you can literally sit down like you are watching me and watch the movies of your destiny unravel either through carelessness familiarity or lack of discernment you lost it tonight may there be a restoration I say it again may there be a restoration that I may receive my sight the sight I lost that I may receive my sight when God gives you the it was through a dream that the Lord spoke to Abimelech when Abimelech was going to take Abraham's wife a dream came yes mr. man this is a covenant woman a covenant child is coming out of this you are a dead man already if you fight this this vision and Abimelech got up in the morning and said I'm sorry and gave Abraham gifts that's how he left Egypt wealthy hallelujah can I tell you the truth you must pray for a resurrection of your dreams our fathers some of them were not educated 
but my goodness through the channel of dreams and visions they walked in accuracy that did not make sense they said things five years before it happened God helping someone the gift of sight number two the moment the believer receives the gift of sight the second area that begins to speak in your life are you ready now is your imaginations and your creativity write it down mm. the first revelation of the Holy Spirit in Scripture was not as a healing spirit was not even as a restoring spirit it was as a creative spirit when God gives you the miracle of open eyes hear me the second area in your life that is activated is your imagination and your creativity and you please listen to what I have to say here the mental pictures and the goals and the plans that frame your destiny are a product of this advantage otherwise you will cook up things by yourself that have no blueprint God can breathe upon your mind and you will come up with prophetic pictures that begin to spell the goal for the next level of your life in Genesis chapter 11 1 to 5 we see the power of imagination the whole earth was of one language and one speech and then the Bible says it came to pass that as they journeyed they found a plain in the land of China and dwelt there verse 3 the Bible says they said to one another go to let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly let us make stone and slime for mortar verse 4 and then the Bible says they said let us build a city and a tower whose top may reach the heavens and let us make us a name lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the earth verse 5 and the Lord came down to see he didn't come down to hear he came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men built. let's read verse 6 the Bible says and the Lord said behold the people is one and they have all one language and this they begin to do hallelujah and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined your imagination is a miracle God deposited that ability in you because your imagination like the prophetic can go into the future can go into yesterday your imagination can go to places that you cannot yet go physically imagination is someone learning in Exodus chapter 31 1 to 6 Exodus 31 1 to 6 haven't given Moses watch this it was through these supernatural encounters Moses received the blueprint of the tabernacle in the wilderness but how was it going to come to pass the Lord spake unto Moses saying verse 2 see I have called by name Bezalel the son of Uri the son of Hor of the tribe of Judah uh -huh. I have filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship what for to devise cunning works to walk in gold in silver in brass verse 5 and in cutting of stones to set them and in carvings of timber and to work all manner of workmanship final verse and I behold I have given with him a heel up the son of all that name of the tribe of Dan and in the hearts of all that are wise hearted I have put wisdom that they may make all that I have commanded thee you have partnered with demon spirits and continue to come up with witty inventions ideas that redefine civilization and believers do not know that the miracle of sight can translate to a creative mind when you know this it will tell on the kinds of songs that you bring from the spirit yes sir 
some of these songs that you hear and you wonder how did this person write this song I can tell you it's not just visions and dreams not all of them were just received verbatim they sat down and the breath of the spirit came upon their creativity and they conjured words and melodies together that your heart cannot stop singing creativity creativity there are people today who have been rewarded by nations because they sustain the intelligence to download superior technological ideas superior solutions via the medium of creativity and imagination hmm. you want to prosper here is where that possibility comes upon you the breath of the almighty you will think out creative ideas god will show you things that others are not seeing and with it god will begin to rewrite your life and believe me this works is someone learning there are people today who design clothes and there is no end to their creativity there are architects today who have designed whole cities and nations how do you think those things came I hope you know anything you imagine you only imagine it because it already exists if it does not exist it cannot be captured in your imagination anything that finds itself in your imagination it is because it has a frame in the realm of the spirit already your assignment is to culture your creativity such that you see and edit the thoughts and the pictures that are inconsistent with your destiny and select the ones that will give material frame to God's speakings in your life. The fact that you can imagine a thing means it already exists. You think I'm joking? Ask people in the movie industry. You think I'm joking? Ask architects. You think I'm joking? Ask professionals. Ask artists. There are artworks today that are worth tens and hundreds of millions of dollars. Out of nowhere you say, someone just began to paint. No, you lied. It was always there. It was simply transported and it followed the gate of imagination. So your Bible says, Ephesians 3.20, Now unto him, who is able to do exceeding abundantly far above all we ask some versions who say imagine 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 can i tell you the truth if you lack this faculty of creativity and imagination after one week of preaching you will not have sermons again did you hear what i said it is beyond seeing visions the realm of imagination and creativity is also the realm where productivity lies. There is no end to the vast resources of intelligence that comes out from within your mind. I preach an average of two or three messages every week with all humility and by the grace of God. I've been doing this for many years. You imagine once upon a time, I think one of my phones crashed. And that was when I realized that I lost over 800 sermons that I had prepared. 800 sermons and everything just went and I had to start again. I wept like Jesus at the tomb of Lazarus. But after that, <laughs> where it came from the first place is still there. Mm, still there. Listen, those who understand this, have manifested superhuman attributes and we have found names for them genesis we call some they have only tapped into that possibility truly there is a miracle of the seen eye that tells on your creativity the songs that come from you these guys watch this this my dear people are here playing these instruments i hope you know that when you play any of these instruments you are not really told what to play it is that faculty that is responsible for this that is what is needed to drive there are people who always have accident as far as they go out the moment they go out they will hit another car I can tell you something is wrong with this realm of creativity you are a businessman I show you a formula you can lock yourself I'm going to be showing you how to prime this my goodness ah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
when you understand this as a designer you will start dressing kings they will say where did this thing come from you will say your mind but the truth is it came from the realm of the spirit only waiting for the gate of your imagination would it allow it to pass all the businesses that thrive today from facebook to twitter to those who design to those who have made all kinds of the spirit of creativity and imagination civilization is so constructed as an honor to creativity and imagination if you resurrect someone now who was alive 400 years when he comes upon the earth you will be shocked what is this thing i'm holding they say a phone a phone what is this thing you are wearing and you give it all kinds of descriptions there are literally people who are hired because either by divination or by instincts they have trained their creativity and imagination they can sit down and look at things and say no there is a better way do you know for instance that the glorious future building of koinonia is already in the spirit is there it's not in the mind of an architect is there predetermined by the counsel of God but it takes someone agreeing with God and then you receive through creativity my life has changed because of this sermons have come from this realm your do you know your approach to the study of scripture will change when you have creativity there are things you will see that a person whose creativity has not been empowered will not see creativity I think I was told as, as a story that I understand that God's servant has shared himself that while they were building, you know, the faith tabernacle now, um, there was a time that there was, they needed to push some gadget inside and then it was just maybe a fractions of inches higher than the door and it would not go in. And the people wanted to break the door and then push it in and he said, no, stop. He said, there's a way out. And they said there's no way out sir how do we push he said there is a way out and he went and stood and prayed and he came out he said deflate the tire a little push it in and pump it back there will always be a way i receive i manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see jesus lifted up exalted i receive i manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see jesus lifted up glorified one song that can come from that realm can sort you and your generation and your children's children there are people today who are not musicians but they partnered with spirits and came up with ideas ladies and gentlemen the cure for poverty is found in this realm not just visions when the spirit moves upon you as a creative spirit you will come up with products listen people give me all kinds of gifts and i'm really honored to have them and sometimes i look at the things people give me and i wonder what kind of mind they had to have created some of the gifts that they have hallelujah i remember one time someone gave me something you just hook the tip of it just in something that looks like a rod no matter how you shake that thing it will never fall just a tip of it i don't know how, what kind of thinking you play with it like a child playing it never falls the one time president of the united states was asked one omnipresence you never would have believed that i can be everywhere now that can be simulated through the power of the internet only god knows what is left in the spirit waiting for men and women who have the seeing eye only god knows what is left ladies and gentlemen hallelujah 
I traveled to a particular nation some time back and visiting a few of their top entrepreneurs, I had the opportunity to visit one of the offices. They facilitate transactions and I was told that about 95% of the transaction in that nation passes through that platform. So I had the opportunity to sit and have a discussion with them, headed by a woman, very unassuming but powerful woman. The focus was not on the animal, but on the four. And he said, this, I'm seeing a jacket. Not just an animal moving full of hair. Another person looks at a tree and is thinking firewood. Another person is thinking and saying, no, this is a table that kings will sit on. I met a young man not too long ago and this gentleman now works with the Dubai government and they released some very serious money and when he was sharing with me the idea he came up with I was tempted to ask him how old are you but you see that doesn't matter creativity make sure when I ask you to lay your hands on your head even if it's two of your hands you will lay there you must cry in the spirit Lord this faculty of imagination something must come out of it that will feed my children something must come out of it that will serve your purposes hallelujah someone came up with an idea called smart homes by the spirit it has redefined architecture and building today you find young people in their early and mid 20s marvelously blessed sitting down with the kings of nations and signing contracts because of their mind not their size not their age that I may receive my sight that I may receive my sight everything you go to a restaurant and pay hundred thousand for is available in the farm someone saw how to combine it in a way you do not know and you have to pay for your ignorance sometimes almost forever are we together one time someone gave me I have a lot of those gifts someone gave me a cup and that cup when you pour hot water it changes it brings out something whether your picture or whatever they put there and i'm saying my goodness this is someone thinking oh this is someone thinking ladies and gentlemen once upon a time they sell ice water you put it in an ice a, 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 a leather and then you keep it and then when you buy it you can't take it because it's iced you have to impatiently endure until it defrosts then you now take it and someone looked at it and said no kings will not take this creativity i don't know who i'm speaking to today but it may not be demons that are keeping your business where it is or maybe your law firm or maybe whatever it is the world has a messless honor and recognition for creative people when you are creative and that by the spirit nobody will ask you where you are coming from again creativity 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 by the power of the Holy Spirit are you ready to lay your hands on your head in one minute please lay your hands and cry a cry in one minute father breathe upon my mind let my imagination come alive let my creativity come alive let my imagination come alive let my creativity come alive someone is praying let my imagination come alive let my creativity come alive pray spirit of the living God I receive the gift of the seeing eye let my creativity come alive in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus as you travel around the world sometimes you are almost tempted to say Africa did they cause us 
Nigeria? Was it a cause that came on us? And even if it's a cause, we rebuke it in Jesus' name. But you find out people with the same mind. You go around the world and see what teenagers are doing. Redefining the civilization across many, many places. Literally, they sit down and come up with witty inventions. Did you know that in the 50s and 60s, you would not hold a mic like this? If you gave someone a mic like this, he probably may run away. But now someone has done, and this is even a lot of old school. I still like it, but it's old school. There are people who, they don't even, I mean, they just, just a, something that looks like my button. And that's it. Creativity. Many Christians remain poor, remain mediocre, and they are crying, Oh God, who will arise to bless me? The question is what needs to arise from within your spirit? Creativity. There are many people today saying, I'm a graduate. I read this. I read that. They have degrees, but they are not creative. They are not innovative. And the tuition, we are told, where average people who did not have the ability to pay a very large amount as school fees would at least be able to go to school. But how would he raise that money? And then history tells us that he sat down and thought and thought and thought and thought and said there has to be a way. He needed millions of dollars as a then to be able to establish the university. But from, you know, from his, his, the, his, that current condition, nobody was willing to give him that kind of money. And history tells us that he sat down and found an idea and he started traveling all across the United States holding seminars as large as this kind of meetings and he began to teach people what some of you may call or know as the acres of diamond it was a story I don't want to go into it since I'm preaching but that story the morale was to help people appreciate what they had within them that before you go out searching for things elsewhere search within and you'll find out that what you are looking around for is in your house and he went around the united states and people were so inspired by his talk and his lectures he earned millions of dollars and there were support systems that rose up for him people were so inspired and decided to partner with his vision until that university was founded someone said there is a way out let the devil hear you let your destiny hear you don't use that word impossible again settle down and say there is a way out lord there is a way out this issue of living from hand to mouth i don't have to be an arm robber to survive there is a way out spirit of the living god breathe upon my mind there is a creative way and then while you are doing that hear me an idea that may not make sense can I tell you, I wish I had time to teach you on priming creativity. Many of the ideas you will receive will be worthless. Respect them by writing them, even if you don't execute them. Among the many supposedly useless ideas, you are priming your creativity. Like you are mining gold or like you are mining oil. A lot of rubbish will come out first, but you just respect it and something will come out very precious. That one thing that comes out is what can change your life. Are we together? Yeah. There are people who write songs. They can write 100 songs. They will be ashamed of singing 60 because it does not even make any sense. But they still continue. And then by the law of time and chance, they will write out something, just one song, and it sends them to the nations. Hallelujah creativity let me tell you honestly sometimes when I wake up in the night I can just play worship like this and sit down and I pray in the spirit for a while and then I just sit quietly you'll be learning when I show you the keys that meditation is one of the ways to be creative the power of meditation in your silence spirit of the living God I'm here the ministry that you have given me there has to be a way out what is the next five years to be like what is the next ten years to be like you may not see a vision you may not have a dream but an inspiration will come from heaven through the door of your creativity 
Are we together now? Yeah. Oh, start organizing this. Start doing this now. Start empowering this now. This one will come up and that's the end of it. Number three, let's hurry up. Hmm. Is someone ready? When you receive the gift of sight, the seen eye, the third area that is activated in your life is the capacity to have insight from scripture. The capacity to have insight from scripture is proof that your eyes have been opened. The capacity to have insight from scripture, Ephesians 1, 17 and 18. The capacity to have insight that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom. Watch this. In the revelation of him. Let's read 18 together. One to read. The eyes of your understanding. Hold on. That's it there. Insight. The eyes. Your understanding has an eye. And the Bible says it can be enlarged. That ye glory. Isaiah 29, interesting version. I think it's called New Century Version or so. NCV. If you can't find it, let's just work with what we have. But I, as I was going through several versions because I wanted to see what they said about this scripture, I found a version called NCV. I think that should be New Century Version or so. I think it's one of the modern versions. And it puts it in a very profound way. But here it says, and the vision of all is become unto you. Watch this. Like the words of a book that is sealed. The New Century Version says that is closed and sealed. Which men deliver to one who is learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot read it. Why? Because it is sealed. Twelve. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I'm not even learned in the first place. Ladies and gentlemen, hear me. This Bible you see is both closed and sealed. I have taught you. The closing of it is physical, but the sealing of it is spiritual. So just because you open this like this does not mean it is opened. Your hand has opened it, but the seal has not been unlocked. So you will read it and at best just read history and read archaeology and read literature. But when the seal is broken, you will now begin to see things that you never knew were there. And those who have this seeing eye can carry a scripture you have been reading every day. By the time they open it unto you, sometimes you feel annoyed and say, God, this is not fair. I've read this all my life. I even have it as an inscription in my house, as a wallpaper. And yet my eyes did not see it. When your eyes are opened and when you receive the gift of the seeing eye, the gift of sight, you must have insight, unusual insight into the mysteries of scripture. Hmm. Is someone learning? You will open your Bible and you can stay on one verse for one week because of the depth of what you have found there. It does not make sense. When you have the gift of sight, you can literally open Genesis 1 verse 1 and bring out 20 sermons from verse 1. And I say that without exaggeration. In the beginning, God, you can stop there. That already is a sermon that can be a series. In the beginning, God. Leave the other things. In the beginning, God. And you stop there. Created the heavens and the earth. Meaning he was not in any of them. You can start there. John 3.16 for God so loved the world by, by the inspiration that comes from scripture. You can look at this scripture and draw forth many sermons. Draw forth insights that can build your life, build your business, build your family. Hallelujah. For God so loved the world. 
So your extent of giving is a measure of the depth of your love. He so loved, he gave his only. He so loved, he gave his only. That's the only thing your eyes will see. So if I so love, I can give even my only. If I cannot give my only, the problem is not my hand. The problem is the extent of my love. If I cannot give my all to my vision, it's because I do not so love it. If I cannot give my all to my family, it's because I cannot so love them. That in itself, a family series can come out of this because of insight into scripture. For God so loved the world that he gave. Another person will recite this as a memory verse. Recite your solution and still die because you do not have insight. Eli who said there is a spirit in man. Job 32 and verse 8. And the breath, the inspiration of the almighty, he says, give them understanding. Hallelujah. Every time I pray, I ask the Lord to quicken my understanding and to grant me truly the gift of sight. When you receive this every part, I believe that in, in my encounters where the light of Jesus came to me, this was one of the things that he was doing. Light entered me. And it was like a straight line from Genesis to Revelation. You literally open any part of the Bible and you can see something. What is this now? Insight into scripture. There are good, sincere men of God who are already weary. Once it is Saturday, they are crying because they don't know what to preach again. They've preached on kindness, the gift of the Spirit, rapture, angels, salvation, purpose. The sermons are over. They've consulted all kinds of materials and preached it. And that's the end of it. There are business people who are tired because they are tired of the routine that the bankruptcy of creativity Thank you for watching, like our videos, share and subscribe. Thank you.